The first, first day I remember going out uh, planting corals, it blew me away, honestly. It was very incredible to see that we can actually plant back these corals. We take starts from the older corals that are already dying, the remains of it, and we basically use that as seeding to put back out on our nursery. And after it blooms from there, we outplant. Of course, it's gonna boost my knowledge as a tour guide. I can go back and share more of what I'm showing my guests. I love planting corals. It's fun and it makes me feel good. I take pride in planting corals. As a tour guide, it works out great. And I get bragging rights, you know? When I'm snorkeling my guests there, I get to point that out and say, I was a part of that, you know? I helped to put that there. All that beautiful structure, all the beautiful fishing around them, you know, I helped that environment out. You know, it's like a badge of honor. Of course, I'm gonna continue, you know, it's helping out. In the long term, I hope, you know, we can make this project bigger, you know? Restore the entire world's reef. Shipment of seafood declines every year. So we need to plant seaweed, something that can create jobs, something sustainable for the fishermen and their family. You cannot predict the weather again. And after every hurricane or tropical wave, bacteria, disease start to affect fish, lobster. So you need to divert into another industry that you can manage long term. Overfishing is becoming a problem in Belize. Um, one of the solutions is basically uh, to teach their daughters, their sons, to become more involved in agriculture. As I want generation and generation to keep on doing this. If we don't continue to do this, it's all gonna go one day. 